Hey guys, it's Meg here from Fit Mom Meg and I just wanted to share a little bit about me. I posted a what is your why video a week or two ago and so people have been asking me, well, what is your why? And I tend to give vague answers and it's not that I'm trying to be evasive, it's just that I am really emotional so I try not to scare people off. Um, it's definitely no secret that when I started in 2016, I started with the intention to prove to my husband that this just would not work for me. Um, and it was for those people, the ones that were strong enough to commit, the ones that loved to eat clean, the ones that loved to work out. And I didn't fit into any of those categories. And yes, it was working for him and he was having great results. And But he's a guy. They go to the bathroom and they're back to normal again. And we smell a cookie and we just gain five pounds. So it turns out that that mindset was just exactly what I needed to be able to commit to my journey. And I did have epic results in 21 days. But after that time period, I just struggled because I'd already accomplished my why and I didn't have a new why. And so I stumbled for a good few months and even started doubting that maybe it was just a fluke that I hit it the first time. And I tried making my why for years, you know, about my husband and my kids, wanting to be able to keep up with them, uh, set a good example, lead by example. And I kept failing and I failed over and over and I felt like a failure. And I realized I had to find that reason for me and I needed to feel good again. I needed the physical pain to stop. I needed the self-hate to stop. And I needed to learn to love the body that God had given me. And I needed him to show me who I was because I was lost. And I, some say that we need to look inward. And I chose to look to the person that created me because nobody knows me better than him. And last year and many years before that, I just felt broken and weak, sad and fluffy and unworthy. And it just became my identity. And that's an awful identity to have. And I real and somebody said something that just clicked with me one day. They said, you've been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. And for some reason, that one just hit me full force. And on that day, the seed of thought was planted and it just took root from there. And I learned our mind will start to believe whatever we tell it. So what if I just stopped feeding it with self-doubt and I stopped telling myself I wasn't good enough and I stopped thinking I was unworthy of feeling better. And I surrounded myself with those who reminded me and who would help me when I stumbled and lift me back up. And I started telling myself that I was created with a purpose and I am worthy in his eyes. And to say that I'm unworthy is to say that he made a mistake while creating me. And you want to know the kicker is he doesn't make mistakes. So my 2016 was about realizing my worth and just learning who he wants me to be and to put my trust in him to lead me and for him to and for me to have faith in him that he's going to give me the strength and the courage to carry out his purpose. And he led the right people into my life last year to help me along the way. So my passion and my purpose and my why for 2017 is just to help others realize how amazing that they truly are, you know, that they're just as worthy as anybody else, to look in the mirror each morning as they're getting ready and to just smile from the happiness and joy that they have in their heart, and that there's no harder feeling than to not love the skin that we're in and to feel like we're not worth it and overwhelmed at trying to figure out what's wrong with us and limited by our knowledge for fear of reaching out because we live in such a judgmental time. And stress because we just don't have the time. So we go about our days in a fog just trying to survive instead of experiencing true joy. And so this is just my year of thankfulness and just helping others in hopes that I am able to help them as so many have done for me. Because there is just nothing more beautiful than the joy of a happy heart.